You're listening to the MSG podcast, that's Movies with Sarah and Garrison, but I guess in this case it's TSG. TV shows. <laughs> right. Um, all right, so we're going to, so this is our first show that we're going to be talking about, and that will and that is uh, My Hero Academia. Which I will say that I'm actually really excited that you chose this one, because I didn't realize how cute it was until I started watching it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I thought that you would like it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and since we, we only watched the first three episodes so far, and uh, it pretty much only gets better from here, so, so I'm, I'm really excited for you to, to see this. But um, just to um, make things clear, uh, I have seen both seasons, and I've read a little bit, like a couple chapters of, 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 of the manga from, from where the anime left off, so I know a little more information, so I'm going to try to stay ignorant when talking to sarah about this show it's really difficult because i ask a lot of questions um yeah so for those of you who don't know what it is it is an anime um i'm not positive how old it is maybe that's in your facts or maybe you have some information on that if not look that up um this is on hulu so if you guys want to watch the entire first season it's on hulu now season two will be available april 10th and first episode of season three is on there as well yep or you know uh it's also on funimation and uh crunchy roll i imagine um so yes yeah, so yes yeah, so there's a lot of places for you to watch it i know we're not getting paid to, to <laughs> put those in there um yeah so so your first impressions were you thought it was cute and you liked it yeah it's just adorable um i think that the main character um I- izuku midoriya yes he I, I can never pronounce japanese book. um he's freaking adorable and i like the like flashbacks of him as a kid oh my god bless his soul he is just an amazing little character um uh, lots of fire and mm-hmm. like good good character building yeah um that's definitely definitely one of his his strong points is 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 his uh character growth and you really sympathize for the character straight off and that's and i think that really helps because as you'll see this is like a real inspirational like heartwarming kind of kind of a story so yes i can tell that right off the bat and i'm really excited it's been a while since i've been super into animes sometimes i'll just pick one randomly and it'll be a hit or miss but there's been some good ones and this i think is a really good one um so as far as the plot goes should we kind of dive right into there yeah what did you think uh can you explain it to how you summarize so izuku is a a powerless being in a world of powerful beings and they're all humans but they get quirks when they're born and they kind of form later on so their parents have quirks and so they kind of inherit them but izuku is one of the only ones that doesn't have one and apparently he has five toes and everybody else has four well it's uh well it's like a joint in their uh, pinky toe like oh so the, it's not like a so missing toe right so the people with court have like a missing joint so it only like bends one way instead of like two ways um i guess that's how that works okay but also yeah, um, in this world, only 20% of the population don't have powers, so, um, and, um, at this point, we, we know that, um, it's not likely for people with, that don't have powers to be heroes because, you know, it's really dangerous. Right, because you could get killed. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so Izuku is kind of ashamed of himself in school. He's in school with all these other kids that have powers, but he has, he's got this, like, intrinsic drive to just be a hero no matter what and his favorite of all the major heroes is all might and he's a kooky guy i don't know if i'm gonna give any spoilers away about him but um he's basically just like the number one hero in this universe spoilers what do you mean well i mean we don't they kind of sort of explain it in like the first episode but well aren't we talking about the first three so okay so spoilers if you're gonna listen to this well well, okay um wait, wait wait before i mean are we gonna go episode by episode or are we just gonna gonna talk how you know as soon as in as a thought comes into our mind i was just gonna give like a synopsis of like the first three okay okay so yeah all might only has his powers for three hours throughout the day Mm -hmm. and he actually saves azuku and azuku's like fangirling until until all might kind of exposes his weakness to Izuko and then kind of come to find out that All Might will eventually train. And and uh, one more thing um, to mention in the first episode, uh, Midoriya's rival Bakugo. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about him? He's a major jerk, but I feel like he's like... Um, 
you know, like Harry Potter and, and uh, Malfoy. Malfoy, yeah, yeah. kind Cause, of because because like M- Malfoy was kind of like a like a like a wimp or something, right? Yeah, like a dweeb, mm-hmm. you know. But he, the Bakugo, is thinks he's going to be better than everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and like and you know even though i've seen it and i know what's what's about to happen but i could say from this point i could i could speculate and say um you know because he thinks that he's a hot shot now then once he gets into ua then you know he's going to be dwarfed by all these other people more talented people yeah right i I think that's amazing i really do um it's kind of a good hopefully hopefully he has a better character arc throughout Mm -hmm. the story they kind of discuss in the the first three episodes that um bakugo and zuko were like good friends before and then I think Bakugo figured out that his power was like fire and all this stuff and then just became a bully and he's better than everybody else. Yeah. Um, so that's about it for episode one. Um, so two thoughts? Mm, I think that one was adorable. I think that they really exposed most of his personality in season, or season not two. Episode two. Um, kind of learn more about All Might this one. And this is when All Might uh, it, like shows his, his true self. Yep, yep, yep. Because yep. you mentioned that he can only su- sustain himself for three hours mm-hmm. and we learn that um all might suffered from an injury um a few years ago which uh five limits to be exact five five years ago that limits his uh time that he can stay as uh all might <laughs> yeah. so yeah so um so all might's been looking for someone to pass the mantle the the torch onto and which i still don't know if that's actually like a thing what do you mean like i feel like in my heart like it's it just seems like like all might just wants Izuko to be a good person because like he feels he feels a little bit of pity for him but like he sees that like Izuko is like this innocent kid that just you know just wants to be a good person and wants to be a hero in this world so I'm not actually sure that's real that all might can pass that on that's my take of it i don't know at this point or yes at this point okay okay so do you think okay um slightly j- jumping to the next episode about the hair thing about uh all might having to or uh midori having to eat all might's hair is that what that was i was thinking blood because like i was going in and out yeah. of like watching this uh-huh. season or watching the episode um is... yes so do you think that's just like a placebo or something? yes i think so <laughs> i mean it's a good thing he didn't make him drink his blood because that, mm-hmm. that would have been like mm-hmm. a sick thing to do you mm-hmm. freaking weirdo making a kid eat your blood or spit just drink yeah <laughs> you drink my spit or but, some, something else gross you know all right so uh midoriya asks if if um if someone without a quirk can be a hero mm-hmm. and all might tells him no and you know he says that it's too dangerous and stuff so uh all might leaves and we find out that uh that all might has lost the slime creature and and uh and then the slime creature attacks bakugo and wreaks havoc on the city and Midoriya steps in and and uh shows that he was able to act even though you know like he was putting himself in danger and not thinking about the consequences fully and All Might took liking to that and and uh just, just took him under his little wing, little wing yeah yep. his little muscular wing <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah so the biggest i think the biggest plot about this is that um midoriya 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 is trying to get into this like amazing hero school so he is trying to go against bakugo and well you know not against but he's trying to get in the school the same with bakugo and bakugo's like nah mm, yeah yeah because he still bakugo still thinks that you know he's so much better and like okay looking at it from i mean if i were B- bakugo why would you think that he that okay yes you're better than him but that's just because you know he has no cork and, and and he's weak so so it's like why are you so proud of being stronger than someone that you has know, no real? ability like yeah i think that's a good uh, like example of major bullying you know like we all take advantage of people that don't have the same or are just different from us you know treat them d- different that's not fair um right so i guess now we're talking about episode three then with um the kids trying to go into this school and yeah right, so we are introduced to um the voice hero present mike who is telling the students about about um the uh the ua ap- applicants about 
the trials that, that they'll have to, to go through in order to enroll into UA. And they'll have to fight robots for, for points. And that's pretty much where that episode left off. Um, yes, yeah, so Midori was psyching himself up. And we see all of the students out there getting ready. So um, it should be interesting to, to find out what happens next next episode. I, I, yeah, I can't wait to see what kind of other characters come about. Because, I mean, in this universe, the, the options are pretty much endless. Right, so since they have to fight robots, right? Uh, do you think that Mi- Midoriya will show something, like show his quote-unquote power in the next one? I don't know. I still have this weird feeling like it, it's just like <laughs> a placebo effect. And um, I don't know. I don't I, I I hope so. Um, okay, so looking at it from All Might's perspective, giving giving uh, Midoriya his hair, thinking that he's super strong, that's probably even more reckless and, and dangerous than... <laughs> <laughs> then, um, <laughs> Dangerment you know. of a child. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Well, unless you know, All Might's really the bad guy. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Spoiler. No. no <laughs> or, <laughs> am I? or am I? Or am I? Dun dun dun. Yeah. Um. All right. So overall, first three episodes you enjoyed. Yes. 10 for 10 would watch again would recommend um yeah so next week we're going to be talking about uh four five and six i believe Mm -hmm. and hopefully i can take better notes next time this was sort of last minute for me but um thanks for listening are are we done yeah Uh, please like share comment whatever if you want to sit down and watch this with us we're going to be watching all of the episodes over the next couple months so yeah we'd love to hear from you yep thanks for listening